Hey, what's up guys? I'm here dealing with this fingerprint reader. It's a little bit hard to get out of it. And what I'm using right now is a little bit of high superpower alcohol. I put something in here in this um this thing, I don't know what is the name of it. Um I put some in it and then I started like pushing sorry my fingers pushing like in this way so um so slow really slow little bit a little bit and then you will feel when it's free don't worry about the alcohol use alcohol this um if it's hyperpop hyper isopropyl there is no issue but i'm in this point right now and i will try to get in there without um, damaging the fingerprint. I decided to record the process as you can see there I poured some more alcohol in the in the pickle pickle? no it's in the, in the pick <laughs> in the pick and yeah I will try to move more this pick the trick is not to lift the fingerprint sensor because if, if if you lift the fingerprint sensor you will damage it so I'm just trying to you know Oof! Fuck! Fuck, man! Fuck! Fuck! <sighs> it's there! Oh my god! <laughs> it's there! I don't know if it's gonna work or not! Let's see it later. But the issue now is that, of course, you have some alcohol there and it will affect the <laughs> the reading. So, I'm not gonna touch it. Don't touch the thing. Be aware, don't, don't be stupid and touch the thing. Just leave it. Leave it and... I guess that it's gonna... <laughs> the alcohol is, is, is gonna be dry there and I don't know. But don't be stupid like I did the last time and touch that part over there. Don't touch that that part. Really. That's how I, I, I mess it up. Uh, the other time that I was trying to disassemble this. Again, it's not the best option to use alcohol, but last time I I broke everything. So I, I gonna wait to that thing to um, dry, and let's see what's gonna happen later. <laughs> if somebody is still there, okay. If somebody wants to see this thing, it seems like the knockoff screen have some issues with the connector because it seems like this connector does not fit um, properly in the connector in the phone so it keeps um, disconnecting, disconnecting, disconnecting and this thing it's really hard to put in it really hard so I've been dealing with it. I lost the screw. Well, this this actually didn't came with a screw. I found some glue here, 
and that was um, holding the connector, not the actual um, screw. So I need to get it out um, some screws here and check if um, the thread is the same one and see what happens by the way. <laughs> And now I'm, I'm dealing with this, and all the time being careful, being real careful, because as you can see there, a lot of small components there, a lot of small components, and I don't wanna um, filters, condensators, something there. I'm not a technician. Uh, I don't want to mess up there. Well, look, guys. Um, it seems like it actually works here look oh fuck it works it unlocks the device no issue but look <laughs> I messed up the screen yeah it's so messed up so um, I did everything uh, of this for nothing I don't know what I, I, I'm gonna do right now well this is actually I got this uh, screen for free because the Chinese guy said that it was the Reno one. It wasn't the Reno one. So, as you can see. Um, a roll control as well using the autopilot. Now, it can be controlled by either the pilot or...